Let's imagine for a sec that you've fallen out the sky as sediment during the creation of the Earth. Sediments are loose material like bits of rock. Speaking of rocks, you can turn into a sedimentary rock, but not yet. First, you must go through three basic steps. Conversion to a sedimentary rock involves three basic steps. Weathering and erosion, deposition, and lithering. This is with weathering. First, you must uh, escape your grafts of the, uh, your rocky mountain or in modern day Banff. His name is Rundle from Mount Rundle. This can happen in many ways, such as wind or tornado. In your case, some extreme winds come in the direction of Rundle, pushing you off him. Her? I don't really know. You must travel all the way to the ocean. It's a perilous journey. However, you can take air transport, not planes, but the wind. This is known as deposition. Finally, you get compacted and cemented into a sedimentary rock, also known as step number three, lithification. Welcome to the prehistoric era. Dinosaurs are still roaming around the earth. Alright, cool. You're a sedimentary rock? Shale. It only took you a couple million years. Now, using your new sedimentary rock body, you are on a perilous journey to a volcano in modern day Alberta, the Dragon's Pipe. You've always wanted to see a volcano, but you miss a step and fall in. Don't worry, you don't die, you don't even melt. Instead, you fall into the hot body of the volcano and get squished by a boulder. Right now, you are ex experiencing extreme heat and pressure. Six or seven million years past, give or take a couple hundred thousand, and we're currently in the 17th century. Man, how time flies when you may squished by a boulder. <laughs> Eventually, a geyser goes off, releasing you from the heavy grafts of your boulder. You are no longer the same. Your color is different. Your heart is different. Even your voice is different. You have metamorphed. You are now the metamorphic rock. Nice. Or nice. The uh, metamorphic rocks are formed when extreme heat and pressure are applied to the rock, transforming them into a completely different rock. You stand up, presenting your new body, only to fall further into the volcano, the sun taking a one-way trip to the Earth's core. You begin the slow process of melting down into magma. Magma is melted rock below the Earth's crust. This melting process, once again, takes a couple million years. It is the year 21,014,512. Humanity is traversing, the sun is about to implode on itself, and a huge asteroid is heading for Earth. But before then, the final volcano on Earth, the Dragon's Pipe, and again, the one you're inside of, erupts, releasing lava onto the Earth with you as it. Welcome to the surface. So the same as you left it, but also the same as you imagined it. The no flying car to futuristic buildings. They even took all of that with them. And that happened a million years ago. All that's left is trash and garbage the humans left on the planet before they left Earth. And the biggest change you experience is that you've changed forms. Thanks to the extreme heat on the Earth's core, you have melted into the, uh, lava. Then cooled, changing form from a metamorphic rock into an igneous rock. Granite. Granite. Why did I say granite? What? You've cooled down just in time to see the asteroid crash into Earth, causing worldwide famine and destruction. You are now sediments again, floating around in space. The rock cycle starts again elsewhere.